All right, so we're live. I'm gonna wait for a second until everybody gets on. Uh, I am in a new location, and what we're doing is a giveaway for one single pearl mounted jewelry piece that we have. So, um, for anybody that's watching this on rerun, this is a uh, five day giveaway that we're gonna be doing. Uh, one winner um, for a couple days, and I have to skip a day, and then we'll do two more. But um, anyways, hello everybody. I can see a couple folks. Who was it? Ashley, Rios, uh, Leslie, Crystal, Nicole, Leslie. Leslie's already trying to guess. Uh, Allison. So uh, I'm in a new location now, kind of giving you a little peek outside. Bianca, hello. Sandra, hello. So, um, if hopefully you saw the video I posted, I had to, I had to record the video and then and then upload it um, uh, later on once I got signal again at the back of the hotel and uh, the other hotel. And then uh, I've been taking crazy pictures. I found this is a new. This is one of I told I just told Sarah this is one of our my new must come back to regions I should say because I'll post some photos maybe later on but hey Matt where am I you got to guess so all right we got probably enough people to call it good enough so the guessing tonight if you can see it in the video description title thingy is you have to name the city that I'm in. Um, you can't do region, can't do country, um, and it's going to be kind of tricky, so you're going to have to probably have something else handy to Google search as I give you more and more hints. Little Kimberly, Tanya, Crystal, hope you gotten some sleep. Um, I did get a little sleep last night. Usually whenever we um, come, to, come to Europe... Uh, um, first day, first day or two is just brutal, and like we'll go to sleep at like normal time for Europe, you know, nine ten o'clock, and then like two in the morning you just wake wide, you're wide awake, and you're like you can't go to sleep, and that's happening to me last night, and so I was like, okay, I gotta try and Instagram some of the photos that Sarah wanted me to do. So it's morning here, not night. Yeah, it's. It's morning there where you guys are at. It's nighttime over here. So I see a lot of t someone's name in Wisconsin. I don't think they have buildings like this in Wisconsin, though. And windows that open inward. Maybe they do, some of the old ones. Um, so the guessing, I'm going to post, I'm going to post, I'm going to stick the phone out the window and go left first, which is... Kind of western ish. Okay. All right. And that will be the first clue. And then we'll kind of let it weed on from there. Where's my hand? You got this guy and that mountain right there. Dublin. I don't think Dublin has big mountains like that. And definitely not Illinois. No, Leslie, no. No, not not Florence either, Kim. So, i give you some more clues. That's kind of hard, because there's a lot of places like that. Um, so, some clues for you. I was pretty excited, actually, to, to, to come to this particular hotel that I'm in. I'm just in, like, a little single... It's like a... Sarah and I, that's like a single mattress. Sarah and I, Sarah and I and her mom slept in one of those at Children's Hospital in Phoenix once for like two weeks. And uh, you kind of wedge yourself in there. But for one guy, it should be okay. It's just like a single bed. And it was the cheapest option. So that's what we did. So, not London, not Cologne, <clears throat> not Salzburg, not Schwangau, whatever. Sound and music, Salzburg, no. Not Venice, not Munich. So the hotel that I'm in, not Nuremberg, not Watchenberg, you're watching my bird, uh, not Vienna. The hotel I am 
I'm in um, Mozart and his dad stayed here in the year 1769. On here's a big hint to the hotel that will help you figure out maybe what city is his dad, Mozart's dad, Leopold, said, We are in good health, thank God, we are staying in the Vice Cross. Cruz. Vice Cruz. Not Rome, not Amsterdam. Amsterdam doesn't have mountains. At all. In fact, the whole country doesn't. But keep guessing. Oh, Carla got it. Carla, you win. Carla Trude Corday. Carla, you win. That was good. So here's the other side. I'm kind of surprised. You guys did some really not Mount Blanc, not Prague, not answering. Carla won it. So, Sarah, can you get Carla Trude Corday? Yeah. Okay, she got it. So I'm going to show you the other one. This will probably be your biggest giveaway as to biggest clue as to where I'm at. That right there is gold. It's called the gold roof. I don't know how you say it in German. Should have thought Innsbruck. Can, what was that? What was the, the roof? So right there is like a big like outcropping sticking out from the building and some, I haven't gone over there, just from what I was reading before I came out here, some bishop lived there or something and he wanted some balcony put out over the place so that they could see down into the courtyard because the courtyard is like all down there, that's the courtyard, but then you can see the mountains up there all the way out. Austrian Alps. So, and then you can kind of see we're right down here. See these big arches? Those big arches are where they would bring the um, horses and, wag and wagons, carriages up through, and then they would park like underneath this hotel. They have like three or four of them. They would have like 40 horses and carriages all like in stables down there. So yes, Crescenda, I am in Innsbruck, Austria right now. About two hours away from where I was, two and a half hours away from where I was yesterday. And if you didn't find that, like, the video I did last night was all dark, it was really hard to see. But I'm gonna post some um, new pictures. And I did a video earlier today that I uploaded to Facebook, not live. So this is the other direction, the first direction that I showed you. So I don't drop it. And the city, there's more city like all the way up here in these hills. Like all the way up there. It's kind of hard to see the top of the mountains from the sky. But you can actually go up there and go skiing. They have like lifts like all around the mountain, all around the city, and it's um, yes, Kelly, it's Austria. Innsbruck, Austria. So, and so the hotel I'm in is called the White Cross in English. And this was a hotel that was first mentioned by the city in 1465. So that means that this building is 600 some odd years old. 600 some odd years old. What's the temperature? Um, temperature, I don't know exactly what it is here in Innsbruck. Um, it's probably upper 20s right now. What time is it here? 5.30 p.m. So, Nicole, you're right, Stuttgart is in Germany. I was there for all of like an hour and a half and poof, I was gone. I'm not too big on Germany like the bigger areas of Germany, and Germany is very industrialized. They got bombed out pretty hard, and so everything's modern there. I like the old stuff. So, 
so it is cold um it's cold but i mean it's the mountains i came down through are amazing huge mountains i thought there we go uh it's gorgeous there it froze me yeah i froze for a brief second guys internet's kind of shoddy in these old buildings yep so i am going to post i'm just scrolling through some messages um i forget who won again but um whoever won message us on a thrifty mom and i will um send you a coupon code um that you can use and uh you can pick it pick whatever single mounted jewelry piece that you would like so um, that's the last video for today I will try and post some photos um, also uh, yeah Carla one Carla so uh, met private messages on a thrifty mom and um, I'll get back to you as soon as I I'll try and get back to you tonight or for you today um, I think it's going on my my end Anyways, um, tomorrow will be a new location, if I have internet. How about that? So, if you're, I'm in Innsbruck, Austria right now. Yesterday, I was at, where was I? I don't know the name of the city. Fusion, someone mentioned Fusion. I was outside of Fusion, but it was at the Cinderella Castle. Don't ask me how to say it, I don't speak German. I can fudge my way through French, but I can't speak German. Um, tomorrow tomorrow I will be a new location. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to post the info and do the video. If not, it will be the following day and I'll, um, put, I'll play a repeat and then we'll just watch the comments on the repeat. Um, and the first person that makes a comment on the repeat when it, once it's posted will will win that next jewelry item. So today is number two. We have three more days of guessing. McKeeley said Dad's playing blues clubs, giving his hints to find the blue crayon. <laughs> yeah, I should have brought a blue crayon. I was going to find a hat, a Where's Waldo hat. How long's my trip? Um, Kim, I will be home uh, middle of next week. Blues Clues, not Blue Club. Yeah, yeah, Blues Clues, yeah. Yeah, once you mention the blue crane, I got it. But, uh, so I will be in um, uh, a location mm, tomorrow. A new location that you guys will have to guess. I'm not going to give you any of the clues until... I'm there. It's going to be, this one's probably going to be the most difficult um, because it's solely based on clues. There's nothing, there's nothing that's going to be there that is going to stand out like, oh, I know that location. Um, yeah. And hopefully I have internet, so that's a clue. There you go. Alright guys, um, I am going to head out. I still have to walk couple blocks over that way to the parking garage to get my luggage. So the answer is Innsbruck. Innsbruck, yes. Inns is the name of the river and uh, Brook means bridge. So it's the bridge over the Inns River or Inns River. I used to eat some tasty foods. Oh, the sausage I had this morning at this little hotel I, I stayed at was amazing. I mean amazing. And then I saw brats at lunch but I didn't want to eat anything. I hiked a whole bunch today. My legs are sore in the snow like uneven ground and it was crazy so um, so I'm I'm here for fun and work and the hiking in the snow is the work part because I had to get a certain picture um, that we'll post later once we get home and edit everything for work um, what else there you go can't believe I have 50 some odd people watching me anything you guys want to know I gotta go get my luggage I do need to get some bratwurst. I gotta go find a little cafe somewhere. I found a really cool bread place. I might have to go grab some them little sandwiches they make. Uh, what else? And the eggs are really good too. It's really weird. When we were when we were in France in the spring, we ate at a fondue place, and the fondue was really good. And the guy kept saying it's because of the happy cows. And the happy cows they eat happy grass, 
like from like June through August, and then we, they have to milk the cows at a certain time of the day because that's their happiest. He went on like this twenty minute discourse on like happy cows and why their cheese was so good. What's been the most amazing? Uh, the mountains I came through today. Amazing mountains. You know, lived in Idaho for a long, long time. I've done a lot of mountain stuff, um, but it wasn't until I came to the Austrian Alps that like changed my total view on everything um, mountain-wise. These mountains are huge and they're steep. They're not like sloping mountains that like come down to foothills. These are like straight vertical, like out of a valley and it's just totally amazing. Uh, they have, here, you know what? what, what I'm just gonna go to the car and I'm not gonna talk much. So this is because I don't like talking in front of everybody and doing a video. Yeah, there's a lot of groups of people here that drive me nuts. So I don't want to be like them. So I will walk you guys through back to um, back to the, the, the car, my car, because I have to get my luggage out because I didn't know where the hotel was. I just, the GPS took me to the parking garage, which is in a different location. And then I gotta find my way back into the parking garage. But since this hotel is so old, since 14, at least 1465, and actually the city was here um, before the Romans. It was here in the Stone Age, and there was a huge Stone Age village that lived here. Um, uh, some American general made his um, temporary house. Um, command center here in this hotel back in the uh, World War II. Go America. Um, let's see. Let's make sure I got everything. See all my keys? This big red thing, or is it? That big red thing is the key to the my hotel room, and it's the key to the elevator. And then this big green thing I got to carry is the key to the parking garage. When you live in old towns, you do a lot of weird stuff. So I'm going to show, I'm going to show you what it looks like outside, and on the, and you can see all the woodwork going down. I'm going to flip the camera around so you're not sitting there watching me because no one likes to. Um, Christina, I'm technically alone right now. My brother, I came to Europe with my brother John. Um, he works for Backcountry.com. And um, he had to come to Germany because they have a sub company that's kind of the same idea, but German, um, in outside of Stuttgart. And he's working there, kind of setting up. They haven't, they haven't, they've owned the company here in Germany, the small little company, for like four years, and they haven't really done anything with them. And John's like the head HR director for the entire company. And so he came out here to kind of build relations so that when he comes back in like October, he can kind of like say, no, this is how it, right now he's being nice to him and just being buddy, buddy. And then he said, when he comes back in October, changes happen. Um, hello, Susan. It's probably haunted. I love these old buildings. I, they're awesome. So, all right, I'm going to flip it around. Um, be brave and talk. I'll kind of whisper when there's not people around. I just don't like, it drives me nuts when people talk to, when their little earpieces in their ear and you don't see like a phone next to their head and they're just talking and they kind of glance up and look at you while they're still talking. I'm like, do I need to start a conversation with you or what? I don't know. So, all right, let me, let's see. All right. I got to grab my map. Good thing I got a paper map. All right. So. You can come with me. I got my keys. And you guys can see the town. Since you, uh, you just woke up and you have nothing else to do, right? All right. I think I got everything.
I don't know how old it is, but that wood's like very, very old. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it's super old actually. You know what? I'm going to go down the stairs. I'm not going to use the elevator. Here. It's all stone columns going up, holding everything. Yes, that's inside the hotel. But all these beams are like all like original old beams. Horses would come in through here, these little arches. I'm going the wrong direction right now to show you the golden roof or gold roof. 